Hello, it's Anne Richardson, the Busy Brit, here in St. Petersburg. Put your seatbelts on. We're about to jump in and take a ride around Euclid St. Paul. Take a look at these fabulous houses. Let's just go for a ride around Euclid St. Paul. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. Thank you. So welcome to Euclid St. Paul's. I've always called it Euclid St. Paul, not realizing that there was an S at the end, but there actually is. It's Euclid hyphen St. Paul's. This used to be an orange grove um, way before they started to develop it um, in the late 1900s and early, no, not 1900s, the late 1800s and early 1900s. When they did begin to develop it, um, the developer said that he wanted the houses to cost around six thousand dollars which is a heck of a lot of money for the 1920s the equivalent of that today is about seventy eight thousand dollars um who wouldn't love to buy a house in euclid st paul's for seventy eight thousand dollars but unfortunately i don't think that's going to happen the houses here are um, the average 1500 square foot three bedroom and two bath home is around three hundred and ninety thousand dollars a far cry from the 6,000 when they were first originally built. These houses needed to have a minimum of six rooms, which doesn't include any porches, um, bathrooms or closets. It also used to be called Euclid Place. Uh, they added the St. Paul's um, some time later. I've dug in, but I've not been able to find at the actual date Hope you're enjoying our tour around Euclid St. Paul's. Paul's with an S, not Euclid St. Paul. It's a fantastic little area, very affordable living, um, very cute houses, tree-lined streets. I just love it. So let's get back to our tour and I'll see you at the end of the video. An extremely family friendly neighborhood as you can see lots of bikes walking with their children and their pets in this lovely tree lined red bricked um, area pavements abound on every street and alley access also for all homes uh, in the back of the houses they organize the local association organizes a uh, look like chickens. <laughs> the local association organizes a ghost tour every year around mid-October that people they take people from house to house to house where costumed uh, um, hosts, costumed hosts ride on their porches and tell spooky stories for the people that stop by. A favorite they started that in 2005 and it's become increasingly popular every year. They also conduct porch parties um, every third week of the month where people will sit out on their porches and obviously have some appetizers and so on and people will visit from porch to porch to porch so it's a very good way to get to know your neighbours and also your neighbourhood, uh, make friends, um, it's a really good idea and it's very popular all the way around. I know they do it in Kenwood and historic Old North East too. Very cool, porch parties. Lots of different styles of houses here from small bungalows to cottages, um, craftsman style, adobe style, two-story colonials, uh, everything. Most of them have a garage in the back that may have been converted into a studio or a mother-in-law suite. Houses that are built here from teardowns um, are built to conform with the neighborhood so that they are aesthetically pleasing. I don't think you can drive through here and find anything that is totally, totally modern. Thank you for watching my video. This is Anne Richardson, also known as the Busy Brit. I'm a realtor here in St. Petersburg. Today we toured Euclid St. Paul, one of my favorite neighborhoods in the city. 
If you want some information about relocating to St. Pete, drop down into the description below and there's a link and I will send you everything that you need. If you're a buyer or a seller, there's something there for you too. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ding on the bell because the bell will remind you that I have a video coming next week. Thanks again. This is Anne Richardson, The Busy Brit. Bye.